So I've just about finished cutting out all of my duck silhouettes. This is the last one here. Gonna be pretty excited to give these a shot this next season. Gonna be able to put out a, a dozen or so of these and they won't take up very much space at all. But I think they're gonna add a lot of, uh, a lot of visibility and a lot of drawing power. And then I'm going to paint these and flock them uh, in just completely black. And Dakota gives me a hard time. <laughs> he says, you're making coop decoys. And uh, I say, no, they're black mallards. So there's a difference. But uh, yeah, we're gonna, gonna try doing some hunting with these this season. I'm gonna mix up the decoy spread a little bit with some goose with some goose shells and some other things. But uh, right now I'm just focused on getting the silhouettes ready to go. And that finishes up the last one. You might notice I left a little bit of uh, a gap down here. That's gonna be for attaching them to the Y boards. I'm still working out the details on that. Um, not quite sure how I'm gonna make those. I want them to be able to uh, sit flush and stack up pretty nicely just for space savings in the, in the boat. I thought about using stakes and I still might go with that option, but uh, the problem with that is, you know, if we want to hunt some of the different reservoirs and stuff, we're looking at a lot of different uh, water depths. And so what I really want to do is go with wide boards. I tested out some wide boards last season, um, some store-bought wide boards, and then I made some out of pool noodles. <laughs> Silhouettes that catch the wind so much more than a normal decoy. So my normal rigging uh, Didn't have enough weight. And it was just getting blown clear across the marsh I'm thinking about doing some long line type setups and hook up four or five Y boards to this uh, One decoy or to this one weight got to figure out how that's gonna work I've never done any sort of open water hunting. So never messed with long lines I, I could see it working out pretty well if there's a little bit of a breeze, but when the wind changes directions, I'm not sure, uh, might end up just being a tangled mess. After just uh, one or two hunts, I mean, I was really impressed with how the flocking held up. Uh, it, it's not going anywhere. Last week I ran into town to go to the hardware store to pick up a few last supplies before I was going to get started painting these, and of course the truck dies and ended up having to get it towed to a mechanic. That went well, but a week later, another weekend, actually a little bit nicer weather, not quite as hot this week. Taking some uh, denatured alcohol and giving these a quick wipe down before I paint them. Down to just the last couple here. Gonna use uh, black Rust-Oleum paint, and uh, we'll go ahead and get these flocked. Last time I did my test flocking, I uh, ended up with a bunch of flocking up my nose. I'm blowing black snot for a couple days, so I learned my lesson. And this time I'm gonna be using a little mask. So I just bought this bag off of Amazon, and uh, hopefully it's enough, we'll see. And then got a little flour sifter here. The idea here is to get this stuff on pretty thick. And I was thinking a foam brush would be the best way to do that. But it's really not. <laughs> Alright, so that's one painted.
Mm. Yeah, I think that's gonna gonna turn out pretty good. Those are really gonna stick out on the water, I think. All right, finally, just got this one left. So with any of the kind of do-it-yourself duck projects that we do, this definitely isn't one that uh, you do to save money. I would much rather just go buy these if I could. There's not really a lot of duck floater silhouettes uh, available. I really wanted to go with the blocking. I really couldn't find anything like this on the market that I could purchase or else I would have purchased it after I've just spent about an hour flocking these. But uh, I think they're going to turn out pretty nice. All right, so in the end here, I've ended up with 19. So yesterday, while the duck silhouettes were drying, I got some one by twos here that I uh, started playing around with. Gonna try and make some V-boards out of these. What I really want for a V-board is something that's uh, stackable and lightweight and easy to work with. Instead of trying to do a, a three, flip out, I decided I'm going to go ahead and try and do something with this four that will float four decoys. The only downside that I can see with, with the four here is that there's not a single forward attachment point that's going to be into the wind. If you attach an anchor here, I think the, the wind's going to want to kind of blow it to the side and it could tip it if it's really windy. So what I'm thinking about doing is putting some sort of locking mechanism here keep these from wanting to fold in on each other and then i'll have one forward anchor there so everything will face into the wind that way this is just one one by two that's eight foot long that i cut in half i might have to get some 10 foot uh, two by fours and rip those down because i'd really like these decoys to be a little bit more spaced out than they are they stack up nice and flush with each other and I'll be able to stack multiples of these um, without taking up very much space at all. Like I said, last year I used the pool noodles and realized pretty quick that design wasn't gonna work. And so, uh, same thing here. I might get out and get these on a couple hunts and realize they're, they're not gonna work at all. But uh, really simple to make. I can knock out a lot of these really quick and uh, hopefully they'll work out pretty well. The sitting duck V board here, and I tried using these last year. And if you look there, that's that's the one thing I don't like about these is how much space there is in here. So trying to stack these up in a boat, they start getting smushed, and you got to be careful with these silhouettes. So if I was gonna go with the three uh, prong deal, I wouldn't make my own. I would just buy these. I just drilled a hole through the middle here, countersank the nut just a little bit. That way they'll sit flush. When I'm stacking them, probably should countersink this one too, get a little shorter bolt. Took this out and floated it. It floats really well. This top piece right is just about flush with the water. 